as a destination for your higher learning. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for coming. Uh, like I indicated earlier, my name is Marcelo Sotieno. I'm in charge of students recruitment and admissions. And I'm going to take you through the various courses offered at the Catholic University and the minimum entry requirement. Now, uh, this is the minimum entry requirement and therefore you can decide to join a course as long as, that, as, long as your grade is higher than what we have stipulated as a minimum requirement. You are informed that we have various faculties and uh, in the various faculties, we have different programs. And therefore, uh, as we talk about that, they have I've placed them in not any particular order of uh, preference or priority, because all our faculties, we believe that trained students and graduates and produce graduates who are all important to the society. However, I'll also start with what I think most of you would like to hear. What most of you would like to hear. And the first course that uh, most of you have asked about are courses from the Faculty of Law, because we've received a lot of calls asking us about the minimum requirements for the Faculty of Law. In the Faculty of Law, we have two programs. We have a Diploma in Law, and we also have a Bachelor of Laws. These two programs are the ones that are relevant to you because we also have a Master of Law. Uh, for those who have a C plane in KCSE or its equivalent, that is uh, the students who are doing the international curriculum, you expected to have an average of uh, C and also you are supposed to have a minimum of C plus in English or Kiswahili. It is important to mention that those of you who do diploma in law, not all of them proceed to become advocates. There are those who do diploma in law for purposes of number one, proceeding to do a degree in law the second category are those who want to become paralegals. And the third category is for students who just want to have some basis in law, but also want to proceed with other, to proceed in other courses. For example, political science, they want to do either Bachelor of Commerce, they want to do other social sciences, but at least they have some interest in law, but do not meet the minimum requirement for the program of laws. So in those categories, if you are interested or you feel like you are moved and you'd want to study other programs related to law, other programs, you are still welcome to study the diploma in laws. Uh, we also have the Bachelor of Laws where we take a minimum of a C plus in KCSE or its equivalent. For those who do the international curriculum, you are supposed to have at least uh, year 13 grade, that is uh, GCE, uh, with a B plane in either English or Kiswahili. So if you want to study Bachelor of Laws, you must have a C plus and a B in English and Kiswahili. We also have uh, another faculty, which we refer to as the Faculty of Nursing. And in the Faculty of Nursing, we have the bachelor's program, that is the Bachelor of Science in Nursing for those who want to become nurses. You are required to have a minimum of a C plus grade uh, in KCSE or its equivalent. In this case, we talk about uh, for those who are doing GCE, you will be required to have four principal passes. In these four principal passes, and in KCSE, you are also required to have a C plus in English or Kiswahili. You are required to have a C plus in mathematics or physics, and you are required to have a C plus in biology and a C plus in chemistry. So this is also one of the programs that is regulated by the Nursing Council of Kenya. It is accredited by the NCK and uh, the Nursing Council of Kenya also has its own requirements, which we, which we have provided as the minimum requirement. 
So you, if you have better grades in the various courses, you can still join the program. In this program, we take very limited number of students uh, from both government and self-sponsored students. And therefore, uh, you must have very good grades for you to be admitted into the program. For the self-sponsored students, it is on first come first serve basis. We do not hold slots for students. And therefore, if you come today and you get admitted into the program, nobody will take your seat because you will have secured it by application and by getting admitted into the program. Then we also have the School of Business. And in the School of Business, we have two programs. We have ordinary diploma into business in business management, and we also have Bachelor of Commerce. For you to be admitted into the ordinary diploma in business management, you are required to have a C minus grade in KCSE or its equivalent. For those who do IGCSE, you are required to have credits in a minimum of five subjects. Five subjects. It does not matter which ones, but at least you should have five subjects. We encourage that you must have a minimum pass in mathematics because of uh, the accounting and statistics uh, that is the diploma in business management. It's also very important to let you know that our diploma in business management is a hybrid program which qualifies you to do any related business course. That is, there are various universities that offer different specializations. For example, you'll find they don't have Bachelor of Commerce, but maybe they have Bachelor of Business Administration. With that, would, uh, with the Diploma in Business Management, you would straight away qualify to do a Bachelor in Business Administration or a Bachelor in Procurement or a Bachelor in HR. But the same diploma qualifies you also to do a Bachelor of Commerce. This diploma also would qualify you to join other social science programs because of the richness of the diploma that we have. It is a two-year program that is in four semesters and uh, you can be able to do it without breaks. And that means you'd be able to do it within one, uh, one year and uh, four calendar months. Then we also have a Bachelor of Commerce and Bachelor of Commerce, we have various specializations. We have management, we have accounting, we have finance, we have human resources, we have uh, uh, e-commerce. And in this, we require you to have a C plus grade in KCSE or its equivalent with C plane in mathematics and in English. For those who are doing IGC, those who have done GCE, you're supposed to have two principal passes and one subsidiary. We also have the Faculty of Education. And in the Faculty of Education, we have three programs. We have Diploma in Early Childhood Development and Education, ECDE. This program will require you to have a minimum of a C plane. If you notice, it's a bit higher compared to the other programs. And this is also one of the programs that uh, you expect to be registered by the Teacher Service Commission to be a teacher. And therefore, they have their minimum requirement that they recommend for a diploma in early childhood education, early childhood development and education. And so you are required to have a minimum of a C plane in KCSE or its equivalent. Just like in the previous program, we expect those who come from international programs and have done IGCSE or a near uh, 11 program, you're supposed to have at least five credits in the courses that you will have done. We have Bachelor of Education Arts and we have Bachelor of Education Sciences in various combinations. In these programs, we expect the students to have a minimum of a C plus in KCSE and a minimum grade of C plus in the teaching subjects at KCSE. What do I mean by that? For example, if you want to teach Kiswahili and history, we expect you to have a minimum of a C plus 
in Kiswahili and a minimum of a C plus in CRE for you to qualify to teach that combination. In addition to the, uh, in addition to the, uh, to the overall grade. Then we also have the category of students who want to proceed and do Bachelor of Education Sciences. In this category, you are supposed to have a minimum of a C plus and a C plus in the teaching area. So for example, if you want to teach mathematics and um, mathematics and chemistry, you are expected to have a C plus in mathematics and a C plus in chemistry. However, you will also find that we have students who are teaching something like biology and chemistry. If you are teaching biology and chemistry, you are also in addition to uh, the biology and chemistry having a C plus, we expect you to have a C plane in mathematics and to have a C plane in English. Now, for those who will be taking Bachelor of Education Arts, you are also required to have a minimum of a C plane in English. Why? Because you need the language to teach. The people who are exempted from the English requirement are only students who are going to teach Kiswahili. They are the ones who are allowed to have, uh, who are allowed to not to have, they're exempted from the English requirement. So the Kiswahili is expected to be above C+. Uh, the next faculty that we have is the Faculty of Science. And in the Faculty of Science, we have several certificate programs. That is Certificate in Community Health and Development and Certificate in Library and Information Science. The certificate programs, we admit students with D plus in KCSE or its equivalent. When we talk of equivalents, we are talking about students who have done year 11 or students who have done uh, year 11 or have done IGCSE. They should have at least four credits in their program. Then we also have diploma in community health and development. courses that you have and we expect that the level of mathematics that you'll have at the diploma level you need at least a D plane come who are coming for degree direct we have bachelor of science in community health and development we have Bachelor of Science in Computer Science. We have Bachelor of Science in Library and Information Science. We have Bachelor of Science in Mathematics, Bachelor of Science in Actuarial Sciences. We have Bachelor of Science in Biology, Bachelor of Science in Chemistry, and Bachelor of Science in Physics. Uh, for those coming for Bachelor of Science in Community Health and Development and Bachelor of Science in Library and Information Science, it is expected that you will have a mean grade of C plus in KCSE and also have a C plane in mathematics. C plane in mathematics for those coming for Community Health and Development and Library and Information Science. The rest of the students coming for C plane would also be required for those who are coming for Bachelor of, Sci of Science in Biology, Bachelor of Science in Chemistry, and Bachelor of Science in Physics. Now, there is special requirement depending on the specialization that you wish to apply for. For students who want to study Bachelor of Science in Computer Science, if at all you are applying through government placement, then
and they will require you to have physics as well. So they'll require you to have mathematics and physics for you to be placed in choir to study Bachelor of Science in Computer Science. Uh, for those studying mathematics, those studying actuarial science, you will be required to have above C plus, C plus as a minimum grade. So in this case, this is the specific subject requirement for the specific specialization. So if you are coming for Bachelor of Science in Mathematics, you are required to have above a C plus in Mathematics. If you are coming for Actuarial Sciences, you are required to have above C plus in Mathematics. If you are coming to study Bachelor of Science in Biology, you will also be required to have above C plus in Biology. Chemistry, above C plus in chemistry. And those who want to study physics, you will also be required to have above a C plus in physics. The next course, the next faculty that we have is the Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences. The programs that we have there, starting with certificates, we have one certificate, certificate in social work. And in this program, we admit students with a D plus in their KCAC or its equivalent. Then we also have diplomas. We have diploma in counseling psychology, diploma in social work, diploma in international relations. We are very soon winding up the diploma in project management because it has moved to become a postgraduate diploma. And we would like people who are studying this course to have at least some background in some specialization for them to be able to assist or add value in the process of project management. In this category, we require C minus in KCAC or its equivalent. Then we have the bachelor's programs. We have Bachelor of Arts in Counseling Psychology. We have Bachelor of Arts in History and International Relations. We have Bachelor of Arts in Environmental Planning and Management. Bachelor of Arts in Geography. Bachelor of Arts in Kiswahili and Communication, Bachelor of Arts in Philosophy, Bachelor of Arts in Religious Studies, Bachelor of Arts in Social Sciences, Bachelor of Arts in Development Studies, Bachelor of Arts in Social Work, Bachelor of Arts in Anthropology, Bachelor of Arts in Political Science, Bachelor of Arts in Sociology, and we have Bachelor of Arts in International Relations. We require a minimum grade of C plus, and also there are some areas that you have specific subject requirements for specific specializations. For example, students who want to study Bachelor of Arts in History and International Relations, you will be required to have a C plus in history. For students who want to study environmental planning and management and geography, you will be required to have at least a C plus in geography. For those who want to study Bachelor of Arts in Kiswahili and communication, you require a C plus in Kiswahili. For those going for religious studies, you need at least a C plus in religious studies. And those who are studying international relations, you also require to have a C plus in either English or Kiswahili. Now, we also have Bachelor of Economics, Bachelor of Economics and Statistics, and Bachelor of Economics and Finance. The minimum grade that we require in this specific area is a C plus. However, there is a key subject requirement and that is C plus in mathematics. The C plus in mathematics uh, is required for all the three areas of economics. That is economics, uh, economics and statistics, and we also have economics and finance. And then finally, we have our faculty of theology and our faculty of theology, we have various programs. And that is, we have the diploma in theology where you require a mean grade of C minus in KCAC or its equivalent. We also have uh, 
Bachelor of Theology, and we have Baccalaureate in Sacred Theology. However, these programs, as much as we may require C plus in KCSC, there is another requirement that is uh, study of philosophy. And therefore, students who study uh, theology are required to have some background in philosophy. And therefore, we do not admit students directly for theology, uh, those who have come from high school. For those who want to study uh, theology or related program, we guide them to take religious studies where they can uh, study directly religious studies without the requirement of philosophy uh, compared to those who want to study theology. Those are the courses that we have at the Catholic University of Eastern Africa. And like I mentioned, those are the minimum requirements and therefore a student can study the same courses with a grade above any other uh, that we have mentioned. So with that, and those of you who are currently selecting their courses, uh, because we know you are currently in the COOPS portal, for those of you who are selecting courses, you can use that information to make a wise judgment and a wise decision to select square. Make sure that uh, your cluster points are matching uh, because the cluster points are calculated automatically by uh, the Kenya University Placement Services. That is uh, COOPS. So you can check the courses, ensure that you fit in the various cluster points for you to be able to uh, be selected to join the Catholic University of Western Africa. We welcome you all to this university and kindly uh, you can apply as a self-sponsored. You can also call us. You can check our website. You'll get a lot of information. We communicate a lot through email. Uh, and uh, anytime you contact us on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, we'll be able to respond and give you guidance and even call you back for more assistance. Thank you very much for that. It is now my humble duty to welcome if at all there is any question or anything that we would want, you would want to hear from us. You can raise up your hand from wherever you are and we'll be able to see you. Anybody with a question, we can be able to respond. Uh, hello, Marcellus. Yes. Uh, I think you can check on public chat. Some members were writing questions there as you're explaining on the public chat. Thank you. Uh, I'm seeing there are some questions. There is somebody who is uh, personally interested in going to the Faculty of Education, English and Literature in English or Kiswahili CRE. And like I've mentioned, you should have at least a C plus in uh, overall grade and also ensure that you have a C plus in English or a C plus in Kiswahili and CRE. With that, you'd meet the minimum qualification. Uh, can you kindly talk about those who have done pre-university in Queer? Are they eligible to join the different courses? Yes, if you did pre-university in Queer when it was on offer, then you are eligible to join choir because by that time when you are doing pre-university at the university it was a require it was uh, an acceptable entry qualification and therefore if you have it then we would consider it for admission to the university thank you very much If at all you have a question, you can still ask in the public chat. Yes, Mukami. Uh, thank you so much. Maybe just just to mention that. Uh, Kindly unmute. Uh, just to mention that uh, for those who are on Facebook, you can share um, this session uh, with your friends. That will help uh, if you are those who are not able to. Learn. So can you please see to share the information? Uh, 
And uh, just like what Marcella has indicated, whatever he has presented on the MC uh, requirements, they are minimum. Minimum meaning that if you have an A and you don't want to do low, there is a chance for you. If you have an A minus, you have a B plus, you know, all the way to the to the C plus. So C plus is a is a very minimum that, that, that you do require. So I think that that is, is quite important so that you don't lock yourself because then you think, oh, this is for C plus. No, that is the that is the minimum. But I might I might also just um, uh, emphasize that as we do uh, uh, square programs in the good portal, you are getting all the information in terms of the cutoff points uh, from the previous screen. So you're able to look at the, your cluster points and see where you are, and you're able to see whether you have good chances for the various programs that you have, we have on Thank you. Thank you very much, Mukami. I don't know whether there is any other person with a question. I will, as we prepare our questions, you can type them in the public chat. But as we do that, I take this opportunity to invite Sister Joki, who will tell us something brief about support in terms of careers. Because at the Catholic University, we have we do not just admit you for the sake of admitting you. We admit you and we also prepare you identify the various opportunities that are out there for the various courses and the various careers that you are pursuing. So in a brief, in brief, I'll invite Sister Njoki, who will tell us the kind of support services that we get from the Dean of Students Office uh, in terms of career and other areas that are important for your professional growth. Karibu Sister. Good morning, everyone. God is good. And all the time. I'm Sister Rose Mwangi, coordinator career services in the Catholic University of Eastern Africa. And uh, once again, I take this opportunity to welcome you because this time is crucial for you because I believe you are really looking around and uh, trying to identify a place that uh, maybe in the near future you'll be calling your home. Where, like we have already had, is really a home. And I would want also to emphasize actually, uh, students here, when they come here, we are able to finish at the given time. If maybe there are no interactions, and we are really praying God that this corona storm will really go away so that we're able to focus and uh, concentrate in order for us to really uh, succeed in our own careers. Now, um, the person who is uh, coordinating the career services in Queer, and uh, this is uh, also an office that uh, is a requirement from the government, that every university in, in this country, whether it is a private or public university, should offer services for career. One, uh, we offer professional guidance and counseling and education on careers uh, to both students and the staffs uh, in order to empower and transform uh, the, the students and the staffs beyond academic papers. And maybe just to say something, you realize today it's very, very difficult for people to remain in one career for the rest of their life. And also we are aware that like what has happened due to the COVID-19, many people were rendered jobless 
and uh, they had really to maybe think outside the box. That's why when you come uh, to the Catholic University of Eastern Africa, even during the orientation, uh, you are given a highlight like something what we have received today on maybe the areas and uh, that uh, maybe you can also venture in, even like professional courses. Uh, Mukami and uh, Mr. Marcel, who's have talked about. So it's very, very important because also we realize also very many students, they are also placed in courses that they never even chose. So when you are come to Quare, you have an opportunity maybe to interact with us and you'll be assisted maybe even to identify maybe a career that you are you have a flow about, you are passionate about. Then again, we also link students to apprenticeship services and sustainable partnerships with industries for jobs. So also we have uh, or we are creating because it's also a new office. Yeah, uh, like um, uh, a link where we help students to get placements for internships, for practicums, for field attachments you know, opportunities where we are sure that uh, the students are given the quality services. Then again, we have also the graduate tracker services yeah, that enables our students also once they go out, we're able to share with them the information about the labor market and then also about the professional progress for graduate students and help institutions. Square is assisted, you know, you know that from the feedback we get from the graduates how we can improve in our training programs and services. And uh, we do this through like follow-up programs when the students also come. Even if during the orientation you'll be told about careers, it's something that is also gradual. And uh, again, also students are assisted, you know, on um, how to maybe organize themselves, acquire the skills on uh, like CV writing, soft skills acquisition, and uh, also how to maybe organize themselves when they get uh, uh, into maybe interviews and so forth. Then there are so many activities actually that go on to help the students, you know, in order to become also aware of even the new maybe careers that are in, on offer, uh, both outside the uh, a queer, maybe also in other places, also internationally. And maybe if there is any question, maybe I have said what maybe you might might be relevant for you at this particular moment. And thank you. Thank you very much, Sister Rose. Thank you very much, Sister Rose. Before I give an opportunity to uh, Ms. Mukami, I'm seeing some questions from some of the students uh, in the public chat. I've seen uh, Jerry asking whether we have uh, human resources management. Yes, we do have human resources management. This is a specialization uh, in Bachelor of Commerce. So when you study commerce, one of the areas of specializations is human resources. Like I mentioned earlier, in the School of Business, we have Bachelor of Commerce in various specializations where we have human resources, we have management, we have accounting, we have finance, we have uh, e-commerce, and then we also have banking and financial services. So you can choose one of these areas of specializations to pursue in your Bachelor of Commerce. Thank you very much, Nderi, for the question. Uh, I'll invite Mukami for a contribution. Uh, this is... Friendly and mute. Uh -huh. 
this is just to reinforce what uh, Sister has said. Um, in a nutshell, with all the programs that we have uh, highlighted this morning, uh, there are many, many careers that are made in Korea through our program. I just wanted to you to have a feel that the many careers that are made at Korea are lawyers, nurses, marketers, accountants, human resource professionals, teachers, bankers, scientists, mathematicians, computer professionals, researchers, academicians, communication professionals, economy, political scientists, social workers, historians, country psychologists, diplomats, staff managers, sociologists, anthropologists, geographers, and many more. So if you want to pursue any of those careers, then Korea is the best just be signing off and same thing imagine I didn't come back um again reiterate our appreciation uh for your for your participation and I want to be the question that uh, you share uh, the Facebook um recording to as many friends as possible so that they will get to hear a piece of thank you thank you very much Mukami uh, I wish to mention to you that this is just one of the many series of, uh, of sessions we are going to have, where we are now going to move into categorizations, where we are going to bring in professionals from various areas to talk to us about the particular courses that we may be interested in. Because some of us see courses, but we do not know where they lead us to. So working with the Career Services Office and our student recruitment and admissions and uh, the communications office, we are going to try our level best to make sure that before September, we've had a series of opportunities for you to be able to uh, be educated on the various courses, to be shown what they lead to and where they take you to, so that you may firm up your decision uh, so by the time you are being placed, you may have made a choice which you will later on rethink and decide to change. So we can be able to assist you to do that. Welcome again to the Catholic University of Eastern Africa, and we hope to see you uh, placed at the Catholic University of Eastern Africa, or we hope to see you applying to the various programs that we do have. I will invite... Um, one of us, that is uh, to lead us in closing prayer for today. I'll kindly request uh, Emmanuel Magoba to pray for us. Emmanuel Magoba. <laughs> From wherever you are. Yes, are you able to? Yes, we can hear you. Uh, yes, thank you, Master Trinity. I take the chance to welcome all those who are looking forward to joining us in September. Uh, welcome to Catholic University. It's one of the best institutions in Eastern Africa. Kindly welcome. So I take this opportunity to pray and maybe end up the session. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Heavenly mm -hmm. Father, we thank you for the just ended session. Oh Lord, may you be with us. Help all those who are looking forward to join our institution. Kindly guide them and provide all the best knowledge that is needed for the well-being of all of us. Lord, graciously hear us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you very much, and may God bless you all. Mm -hmm. Thank you.
Sim, sim. 